Hi, boys and girls. Today, we're going to um, listen to a story, and we're going to listen to a story that uses a different pattern that we haven't used yet. And this story uses questions for its pattern book. So let's listen to this short story. It's called, Where's Tim? And then what I'd like you to do is we're going to think about how you can turn your books into a question book today. So let me play this just a second here. I'm going to play this and we're going to listen to this story. Me read, where's Tim? And listen for how my voice changes during a question mark or an exclamation point. Ready? Where's Tim? Is he in the kitchen? No! Is he under the table? No! Is he behind the door? No! Is he in the bathroom? No! Is he under the stairs? No! Is he in the bedroom? Yes! Fast asleep! All right, boys and girls, so you saw in our story, Where's Tim, that every page had a new question on it, and then they answered the question. So they asked, Where's Tim? Is he in the bathroom? Is he in the bedroom? And then the author answered that. So boys and girls, wouldn't it be fun to make a question book today? So that's what you're going to be doing. You're going to be thinking of a question that you can ask on every page. Now it's going to be the same question. So this book was, Where's Tim? So I want you to think of a question that you can ask. So I'm thinking of a question, and I did like my cooking book. So maybe I ask, what's for lunch? And then the first page is going to be, is it tacos? No. Then maybe the next page is going to be, is it spaghetti? No. Is it pancakes? No. Is it pizza? Ding dong delivery. Yep, pizza's here. So boys and girls, think about a question you could ask, how you could repeat that question over and over, and that that could be um, your story. And then you can answer the question, but at the end, you have to finish your book and answer the final question right? So um, let's think about another one you could do. Like if I want to change my bike riding, um, I could make a question. Say, am I riding on a trail? No. Am I riding in the campground? No. Am I riding to get ice cream? No. Am I riding to the beach? Yes. Let's go swimming. So boys and girls, think about a question you could ask. It could be one of your other books you've already written and you can change it into a question book. Um, and then you're gonna think of an answer for every page and then repeat that question on the next page. So I hope you enjoy writing a question book and I'm sure your friends will enjoy reading your question book.